In 2020, the Living Planet Report, published by the World Wildlife Fund, reported a global organism loss of 68% in 50 years. We are losing biodiversity at an alarming rate. However, a piece of the solution can be found all around us. Hi, I'm Archie. I'm an arborist, and today we're going to be talking about improving biodiversity by getting rid of invasives and planting natives, like this guy. Let's talk about what it means to be native. A native plant is one that is co-evolved with its surroundings to become an essential part of the ecosystem. This means that it participates in the complex web of life. It gets fed on and lived in and grows up with the plants around it. So here we have a native oak tree, more specifically a post oak tree. This tree can host about 550 different caterpillar species and over 400 different types of moth species. Now, if we're talking about birds, chickadees will usually take about 10 days to go from hatching to their first flight. And in that time frame, they'll eat about 7,000 to 10,000 different larval species, mainly provided by native trees, like this oak here. And if we're talking about oaks, we have to talk about acorns too. Acorns feed about 100 different species in the US. This is like bears, squirrels, birds, ducks, deer, a whole ton of them. And native oaks like this one are a cornerstone to our local environment. But what about invasives? An invasive is an organism that has been moved from where it traditionally lives to a new habitat where it doesn't participate in and causes damage to. It doesn't provide shelter, it doesn't provide food for the local wildlife, and there's nothing to stop it from overgrowing. The longer this goes on, the more biodiversity we lose. So here we have a good example of an invasive species, and some of you might know it. This is called the Bradford pear. Now, Bradford pears, once they establish, don't take much to become the dominant tree in the landscape. They usually only last about 20, 25 years because they will break out, like this guy right here. And once a Bradford pear breaks, it is highly, highly likely that it will break again. Now, you're probably watching this going, but what about all the pretty white flowers? Well, if you want pretty white flowers, plant a service berry, a dogwood, or a magnolia. These are all native alternatives that feed the ecosystem. Remember about feeding the ecosystem? Remember how many caterpillars are on oaks? Guess how many are on these Bradford pears? Two. Please, please don't plant these trees. If you're going to plant a tree, plant native. Bringing natives into our local green spaces helps integrate these spaces into the broader environment. This means providing resources like nuts for squirrels or flowers for bees or nesting sites for birds. This helps improve and strengthen their populations and makes the surrounding environment more resilient. Managing invasives and promoting natives is an ongoing process. It all starts with the choices that you make at the nursery, which not only impact you, but all the living things around you. 